Hi guys, just another video today, and uh, yeah, a really disappointing uh, point uh, today. Um, the Legacy uh, Dragon Zone is up for pre orders for the UK fans or Power Rangers, and uh, people are not happy. But if you already imported it from Amazon.com or you know, the states already got it like a couple weeks back. Of the Legacy Dragon Zord. I saw some few reviews, but nothing major because I'm waiting for my figure. Um, so, yeah, um, so today um, I found out today Brando UK have started pre orders and they're starting with it. another website, A1. Yeah, so uh, I, when I found out about this, I got really pissed off because I thought they were going to sell it. To, um, Amazon UK because Amazon.com, the American website, um, they did the pre orders, but I cancelled my one from them. That was a bad, bad, bad price decision I made, and uh, it sucks now. So I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get this uh, toy now um, because I'm not, you know, we're to spend 90 pounds for this toy um, for this, you know. So, uh, I was thinking, should I really spend £90 on this toy, you know, um, because I'm a huge Power Rangers fan. And you know, obviously it's die cast, that's why they're charging a lot for it. And, yeah, so, uh, I'm thinking about it, if I should appeal from these guys, A1. Um, you can appeal it now, if you like, spend £90 on it. Uh, check their website, and they're selling the Nippon, uh, Go say great Megazord as well. Uh, you could buy that now straight away for eighty-five pounds. So it's kind of pricey. Um, I would say it's a um, UK website, but the 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 headquarters is based on Glasgow, so they post um, to UK. Um, but obviously, it's still in the continent of the country, so well, well it's near. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, it takes the piss take because I did cancel my pre-order from Amazon.com. I, I I got a bit uh, I got a bit um, think about if they're gonna charge me customs. I didn't have the funds back then, and uh, yeah, I, I don't have the funds right now because you know I've been spending too much money and paying the bills, guys, and uh, you know I just bought my Apple Change and Unibreaker, Breaker, so that's. 50 pounds gone dead because the other one cost like 20 something pounds and this and that and you the breaker and yeah did a bit shopping yesterday and you gotta pay the bills tomorrow I'm kinda broke now um so yeah so uh, I'm gonna sell some other toys and uh yeah I got some money to to hold me and my financial has been great lately so uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not because I try my best. Um, because it is coming out early July over here in the UK. Yeah, you guys in the states already got it, so you know. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of annoyed um, that I should uh, left my fuel from Amazon.com. I could have saved, you know, twenty thirty pounds with them, but I got a bit. Um, or you know, paying customs, this and that. Because usually when you buy from Amazon.com, the the US version website, uh, they they don't usually charge you customs, so and that's a good thing. So you know, I've been buying a lot from Amazon.com, and they and they do charge you a lot with the import fees and paying the post and packages. So you're gonna pay the same price no matter what. So you're gonna pay a little bit different, but um. So yeah, well, but when I found out today from Banda UK, like, oh yeah, we're sending from this website to this website A1, and they're charging, you know, 90 pounds for this figure. Everybody's complaining over here. Um, surprisingly, you know, people are not happy. Um, some people imported it from Amazon.com, so I did. I did have the had the funds back then, you know. I'm a bit short of money now, so how the hell am I gonna buy? This? now so you know I was gonna buy from them Amazon.com but I can't make my order so yeah I know that was a bad decision I made but um I'm not gonna do that 
that decision again. So uh, his his pre order from Amazon.com, so you can pay some money. You know, you save twenty thirty pounds on the Power Rangers toys, and uh, yeah, because I do really want to get this because I never got this when I was a kid. So uh, it's a big uh, second chance for me. So yeah, but I see if I can buy it from A1, if if I can, if I can. Um, so and I should get paid the next. You know, business has been going so well lately, guys. And uh, you know, just have to uh, you know see what comes next in it. So uh, yeah, and they also uh, obviously, like I said, go say great the Nippon. Uh, toy. Um, this is a Japanese uh, toy. Uh, you can peel this, peel the from the states. Oh, we'll see, but you can buy it now from A1. Um, I send them a link, but only UK only. Uh, but they charge you like eighty-five pounds for this. Eighty-five pounds for this. Um, but yeah, in the states, they're charging it for like ninety dollars. Ninety dollars is already out. Um, some countries, well, it's it's already out in the states, but but big bad toys are charging nineteen dollars for this. It's kind of pricey, but um, you're gonna pay the same price. So no matter how you how you buy this, it doesn't really matter to you. So uh, you know. So next time I'm gonna leave my pre orders with Amazon.com. If I do get custom next time, so you know I do want to pay. You know, twenty thirty pounds, but you could have saved twenty thirty pounds. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. Um, I'm just kind of disappointed with Bando UK, and uh, I'm just going to import next time. That's that's how it is. Anyway, guys, peace. More to come.